I'm going to start with a preface. I don't love Ezekiel Elliott. Now, this doesn't mean that he's a bad prospect. He's a certainly a good prospect. When you look at the running back position, though, in the NFL, and when you look at how devalued it's become, and when I look at the film, I mean, he's good, but man, I have some... Also, running backs, man, you don't really need to have a really good running back. And I don't think he's a really good running back anyway. So, I'm not in love with Ezekiel Elliott, but there are definitely some... As we already had talked about, he's not really a fully developed pass catcher yet. So, he's not going to be like a Matt Forte or um, like David Johnson was for the Cardinals. He lacks some athleticism. I'm talking agility, elusiveness, and acceleration. He's a good athlete. But, man, this is my policy when it comes to running backs. You either need to be athletic as hell. You need to possess that, that speed, acceleration, elusiveness, uh, agility, just football mentality. I'm going to make you miss me mentality, and I'm going to speed away. You're not going to be able to catch me. Or you need to be a bruiser, and you need to power through people, break past tackles, break tackles. I mean, you need to just be an absolute brute. He is... Is a hybrid. I don't think he's very. Say, Gurley's grade was high enough. Go ahead and take him. I personally, if I were a GM, my philosophy is never, whether it's Adrian Peterson or your Cadillac Williams, I would never <laughs> take a running back in round one. 25 of the 32 starting running backs didn't go in the first round. Only three wait top a minute, 10 wait, running wait, backs wait, 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 went in the wait, first wait. round. Are you kidding me? Tell us why you are worthy of a top 10 pick. I think I'm worthy of a top 10 pick because I'm a, I'm a versatile running back. I'm a guy that can stay on the field on every down. I'm a guy that values blocking out the backfield. I'm a guy that can run inside and outside. I'm a guy that can catch the ball at the backfield. With the first pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Rams select Jared Goff. Quarterback, California. The cop went the question and has finally yielded a result and an answer. It's Jared Goff. With the, sec with the second pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Carson Wentz. Quarterback, North Dakota State. It goes without saying that this is the highest a North Dakota State bison has ever been drafted. With the third pick, in the 2016 NFL Draft, the San Diego Chargers select Joey Bosa. Early's grade was high enough. Go ahead and take him. I personally, if I were a GM, my philosophy is never, whether it's Adrian Peterson or your Cadillac Williams, I would never. <laughs> And also, running backs, man, you don't really need to have a really good running back. And I don't think he's a really good running back anyway. So, I'm not in love with Ezekiel Elliott, but there are definitely some strengths. With the fourth pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select. With the fourth pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select. The Dallas Cowboys select. The Dallas Cowboys select Bell Draft. The Dallas Cowboys select.
Pressure coming. Picked up Romo. Tries to slide out of the pocket. Chased down from behind. Romo is slow to get up. And that is the worst possible sign that any Cowboy fan watching could ever see. Tony Romo is so good at getting rid of the ball. A rare pressure here from Seattle bringing KJ Wright. That's clean. That's Cliff Averill coming from the backside. He's going for the ball. You know about the collarbone that was repaired this offseason. The plate put in there. But he reached immediately for that back that has been tremendously problematic for Tony Romo as well. That is a devastating sight right now for a Dallas Cowboy fan. Tony will be on IR. I feel like we all have two battles or two enemies going on. One with the man across from you. The second is with the man inside of you. It was Tony's team. Let's go! Until it wasn't. Until now. Because you guys love to talk, oh, Ezekiel Elliott, Offensive Rookie of the Year, Ezekiel Elliott, next Emmett Smith, Ezekiel Elliott, this and that. Well, let me tell you what Ezekiel Elliott is. He's good, not great. And he's not a guy that was worth the fourth overall pick in the draft. Today, uh, 20 carries for 51 yards and one touchdown. You're telling me you couldn't get that stat line from Lamar Miller? You're telling me you couldn't get that stat line from Alfred Morris? Apparently you couldn't. Because you're drafting him with the fourth overall pick? Uh-uh, no, you could, and you blew it. Okay, to me, you blew it. First and goal, Hoya right up the middle, waiting for a single touchdown. 28 on the pickup, it's Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott out. First and five after the penalty, and it's Elliott. And he gets through the initial burst of Ezekiel From the 39, it's Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott spins head down and a good hard run. Jumbo package, seven and one. It's Elliott's first down. They, they put Norman on Bryant on the opposite side for the first time all game. Elliott gets a good kick out block. And Ezekiel Elliott rolling inside the 25. pick in the draft is the running back and they give it to Elliott with a big hole and the rookie from Ohio State is Joe Looney and they give it to Elliott he's going to swing around the right side pick up the first down go out of bounds and he from the 40 big hole exploited Elliott 12 yard career from the 29 yard line Elliot to the outside. Wow. Look at that. Well, we talked about the hurdles. Yep, he won the 110 meter hurdles. Out, and guys are going to go low at the knees, and then we already saw the film. There it is. We knew what he was going to do. Cleared with ease. A very exciting young player. An exciting young team. Off the fake, under pressure, sets up the screen. Here goes Elliot again. And Elliott all the way down the sideline inside the team. Ezekiel Elliott came into this game leading the NFL, not just rookies, in yards after contact. Here's Ezekiel Elliott with a first down carry. But I'm play by three. Setting up a screen for Elliott, blocking in front of him. The ball bounce. Go with Elliott. 
Pass Michael Johnson, and a whole lot more to the 21. And Elliott takes it home for the touchdown. You know, for Ezekiel Elliott, you still have to understand this young man is a rookie. He's a rookie coming in. We haven't seen anything like this pretty much since, what, Barry Sanders, maybe? Screen pass. Elliott. Hurdles. And picks it to the Running back in the NFL, Zeke or Le'Veon? 
we're only doing this because you started it yesterday. You brought up the fact that out of the blue, you said that, that Le'Veon's the best all-around back in football, I, right? I didn't lie. Oh, okay, good, good. Well, then, Shannon never lies. Okay. Ooh, ooh another <laughs> shot. I like that. This isn't even close to me. This isn't debatable to me. Ezekiel Elliott is in another category, another echelon from Le'Veon Bell. It's going to be Elliott and Ezekiel. Elliott again, right side, going to bounce it. And Ezekiel, as the Cowboys have second and 18, setting up a screen for Elliott with blocking. Huge play, Elliott into Steeler territory, down the sideline, and in for the touchdown. No Seven yard punt. Here's Ezekiel Elliott over the left side. Play action. Prescott now dumps it off to Elliott. First down and more. Elliott starts right, cuts it upfield. Touchdown, Dallas. It's Elliott. Elliott for the touchdown. Smith and then Gavin Escobar, he makes the block. You see the lane right there, and it's good night, Irene. There was one second left on the play clock when this ball was snapped. And that rookie combination of Prescott and Elliott, what a game for Elliott. It's like a ridiculous thing to say. Well, coming from you, it won't. Yeah, well, well <laughs> coming, so you would expect me to say something yes. ridiculous. I think I would give Zeke Elliott the Rookie of the Year, and I would give Dak Prescott the MVP. And the snap to Prescott. Zone read, handoff, Elliott. Pushing through, plowing, touchdown, Elliott. A power touchdown. Handoff, Elliott, up the middle, pound, push. Prescott, zone read, handoff, Elliott, pushing through, plowing, touchdown, Elliott. A power touchdown. Handoff, Elliott, up the middle, pound, push, push, pound, touchdown. in the slot to the left side on first down. Big hole for Elliott, and then he leaps for another four or five yards for a first down. He says, feed me, feed me. Seven for seven now. Elliott with a blocker out in front and seeks that first down. Zach Martin, big number 70. Was the goal. Elliott and Elliott into the end zone. Has now rushed for 57 yards. How many more here? Nice little hurdle move. A lot more. And out of bounds, he's forced at the 45 yard line. Talked about in high school, state champion in the hurdles. One of 35. Ooh. Big hole. Elliott off to the races. Into Tampa territory. And finally forced out of bounds by Keith Tandy. Well, he had. Bulldogs number one in the country. Here's Elliott into the secondary. Over Quinn trying to run him down and running out of time. It's a touchdown for Elliott. He's head to head against Bryant. The screen after the fake. Elliott 
stayed on his feet. Great balance. They were grabbing at his legs, but couldn't upend him. Elliott turns the corner. Touchdown, Dallas. Okay. Because what Zeke is doing is, is, is on a record-breaking pace. And what he does, he eliminates 30 plays a game for Dak. Yeah. And when you can do that and uh, allow the comfort level, people talk about, well, their offensive line. Well, it just anybody's not going to rush for 1,500 yards behind that. His ability in the passing game, the screen game, it's allowed Witten, who is definitely in his last one or two yeah. years playing football, Dez, who hasn't had, had a great year, Cole Beasley, very limited as far as a, a slot receiver, and they haven't been able to throw the ball deep. So offensively, the thing that's been impressive about his overall composure um, with Dak, but the most impressive player to me has been Ezekiel. Well, all right, so hold on. In the third quarter, the Cowboys tried to mount a comeback, but the Packers continued to be one step ahead. Motion to the right side by Terrence Williams. Quick toss. Right side. Intercepted. Intercepted Micah Hyde on a quick toss to the flat. What a football player. Whenever you need a play. Third down and eight. Crowd's going nuts. Snap is back. Looking around. Late pressure deep down the right side. And the ball is intercepted. He picked it off. Jeff Heath comes away with the Cowboys' first takeaway. Let's see if that can jumpstart them back into things. Flips it over the middle to win. Touchdown in the middle of the end zone. The Cowboys have cut the margin to 28 to 20. Suddenly, the Packers were reeling. Even Green Bay's best defender was grasping for answers. Hand off to Elliott. Spins away oh. from Matthews. Beautiful move. Makes the turn off the left pass mark. Inside the 10 and down he goes. Oh, what a move to spin away from Clay Matthews. I ain't never seen anything like that. They got Clay Matthews twisted around like a corkscrew. Play fake. Throws it over the middle to Bryant. And he's got it into the end zone for a touchdown. Uh, they did exactly kind of what we thought they were going to do. Dez wins inside, and uh, it's just him and the guy one-on-one. -on -one. I know kind of put some air in there. Put it where only Dez can go get it and did a great job bringing it up. And now the try for two to tie it. This would tie the game. For two of the tie, Prescott in the gun. Runs it up the middle. Bangs to the goal line. He's in. He's in. It's tied. They came all the way back. Two point conversion. Was that our keeper all the way for you? Uh, yeah. Set to make it dramatic down the stretch. And this from 56 for the lead. Over a span of 63 seconds, the Packers and Cowboys traded clutch long-distance field goals. And a 52-yard try. Knocks it through. The game is tied, but now Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers. We well, have 35 seconds. Greens. Look again. Pressure. Rodgers is hit. And somehow it hangs on. It's Keith with a sack. chance to win it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hey, this is it right here. This is for all the marbles right here, baby. Let's go, baby. This to 
send the Packers into the NFC Championship game. And the 2016 AP Offensive Rookie of the Year is... Dak Prescott. Have a knife so I can cut this in half. Uh, uh, appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, yes, it's an honor just to be up here. Uh, it's humbling. Uh, this whole year was. I want to thank the Cowboys organization. Uh, thank God, none of this would be possible. Uh, thank my mother. Thank the Great Wall of Dallas. Uh, those offensive linemen up there that uh, that allowed both of these these rookies uh, to do what we did this this whole season. Uh, and thank the other 31 teams for passing up on me uh, as much as they did. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He has suspended Ezekiel Elliott six games in an incident in which Ezekiel Elliott was not charged nor arrested. This is one of the issues, once again, that the NFLPA has fought over, the NFL has fought over, to retain Roger Goodell's power in matters such as these. And... This is why it's frustrating to the players because Goodell hands down the sixth game suspension and then he is either the hearing officer or his designee is the hearing officer. What's going on in a case in which there were no charges filed, obviously, in Columbus, Ohio or Fort Lauderdale, Florida, so those law enforcement arms investigated and found not enough to charge. They said her testimony was at best conflicting What do you think of the news of the day, Emmett, that Ezekiel Elliott is missing the first six games, barring anything on appeal? Wow. <clears throat> All I can say is, wow. It's been so much news before 12 o'clock. It's crazy. I know, it's crazy. Um, unfortunately for the Cowboys, we will be losing a great football player. Uh, and unfortunately for Zeke, uh, this is going to be the topic for the next six to eight, uh, maybe two months uh, in terms of not being able to be on the football field to help his team. Look, I'm not going to go the three and three deal. I'm not going to talk about the first six games. I'm going to talk about the whole 16. This smells like seven and nine, six and ten to me. The NFL's mismanagement of the disciplinary process, exposing it. Does it matter? We know that it's a kangaroo court. We know that they don't do the right thing when it comes to discipline their players. We learned that with this play game. Going to miss six games. Mm -hmm. This is the Cowboys you see here on the screen versus the Giants at Denver, at Arizona, versus the Rams, versus Green Bay, at San Francisco. How devastating is the loss of Zeke Elliott on the Cowboys for six games this season? Well, hold on, hold I'd like on, to ask Ezekiel Elliott has never proclaimed his innocence. He has never once said it. To the them. NFLPA has never once come out and said Ezekiel Elliott is innocent. And what I'd also like to add is it would be stooping to a new low if now the NFL came out because they have plenty of derogatory information on Ezekiel Elliott and they chose to keep quiet on that. So it's fine. You can put things out in the public court of opinion and try to try to sway people, but how does this help their appeal? They were aware of all this information. This isn't about what she Further allegedly more. said. This is about what Ezekiel Elliott allegedly did. He's 22 years old. He plays for the Dallas Cowboys. He's going to be suspended six games, and then he's going to go back week eight, and everyone's going to be wearing his jerseys and cheering for him. Can I ask a question? If this is his punishment, can, can I ask a slap question? on the What did you think of the court's decision? Well, I can't say I was surprised, Michael. You know, it was it was one of those things where 
It, Elliott had a chance because the courts don't necessarily reverse the lower court judge that often there in the Fifth Circuit, that particular judge. But it was always a bit of a long shot for Ezekiel Elliott because here's what the court decided. They basically said that the NFLPA filed this thing too soon. They filed this case in Texas before Harold Henderson made his ruling on Ezekiel Elliott's appeal. Their reasoning was, well, he already ruled against us on the particular evidentiary things we need, so we knew we weren't going to get the decision we needed, so we went ahead and filed. But the way the courts work, they need that process completed. You have to exhaust your remedies under the collective bargaining agreement before you can come into the court. So that's what this court decided, and they basically now send it back to the district court and say, you have instructions to dismiss the case. Red butter out right there. Elliott through the middle. Elliott equally effective last year, whether he ran inside or outside. So they picked him with the number four overall choice in the draft last year. Normally running backs don't go that high out of Ohio State. Boy, did he pay off with not only leading the league in rushing, but by a mile. 1,631 yards. We averaged over 100 yards per game last season. And the amazing thing about him is that it's just typical physical play. We saw Williams go off the field. Part of the reason was they got a, a three tight end set on second down and short. That results in an Ezekiel Elliott fourth out live from New York, Los Angeles, and Nashville. Well, we can stop reading those promos pretty soon. It's been crazy. As Elliott takes it around the left side. There it is. Second and six. Elliott swings to the outside. But puts his shoulder down and bulldozes. Arizona defense. Rod Smith in at fullback. Now Ezekiel Elliott blasts through the hole, finally loose. And he's wrestled down by Patrick Peterson. To rave about the effort that he put in the blocking. Okay. He's a featured back. Now he's putting a lot of effort in a running. And Tyron Matthews saved a touchdown. And it's Witten's block against Kim Dietschy, the rookie that springs. Elliott, and down here. First and goal from the eight. Elliott, a little hesitation and a touchdown. That's a clinic. I told you last Friday, I fear this game for my Dallas Cowboys. And the great irony of this is, when I looked down the schedule when it came out April 22nd or whatever it was, I. I Fixated on the Ram game, and I thought, oh, thank you. We got one easy Great. one. Yeah. Oh, catch your breath after the games at Denver, at Arizona, obviously, they open with the rival Giants. And I thought, ahead of Green Bay, they get a little breather, and then they get a bye. So it, everything will be okay. Green Bay, obviously, a big revenge game in Jerry World for the playoff. Don't do that, Don't, don't, don't do start. that. Don't give them a start. The LA Rams now look like, to me, a team on the verge. Let's come in a run play. All they need is a yard. Zeke Elliott. First down inside the 20 of the Rams. Terrence Williams going the other way. Elliott at the reception. A good plan against him. Throw it to Beasley. Caught it at the goal line. Touchdown, Cowboys. One step fade right is. Over the shoulder. Dropped it in. Touchdown. Third for Prescott.
shot. Steps up, scrambles left. Rogers on the run. Yes. 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 To the Devontae Adams. Fade left side of the end zone, swatted away. Jordan Lewis knocked it out of the hands of Devontae Adams. Right, they are picking on Jordan Lewis, no question about it. Second down and 10. Football to the 12 yard line of Dallas, 16 seconds ago in the game. Rodgers in the shotgun, gets the snap. Look at Lewis. Ezekiel Elliott. Again, I tweeted this probably three different times. What's up with him? Is he hurt? He looks, dare I say, like he's gained a couple of extra pounds. I'm seeing maybe a second little chin there that I didn't <laughs> see last year. He doesn't look as sleek as he did. He's, I'm not saying he's lost a step because he's getting older, but he, he just something's missing. There, there's not the burst into the hole. Did, did he lose a little confidence? Eleven drives in the red zone with ten touchdowns. Elliott back-to-back -back big carries and stumbles down to the five-yard line. First and goal, Dallas. Initial ruling of a six-game suspension overturned by a district court in New York. So he's playing again and he has found the end zone. Elliott checks back in the game and they put it in his hands. Ezekiel Elliott to the 10, the 5. And for a second time, Elliott to the end zone. Big time. On Tuesday night game, one of the World Series. Make it one way, throw it the other way to Ezekiel Elliott. He races down the sideline inside the 20. Back to the inside. Are you kidding? It's Ezekiel Elliott. It's what I told Skip Bayless. I've been trying to tell Skip Alex for the last 15 months that this train, the Dallas Cowboy trains, it runs by the conductor, which is one Ezekiel Elliott, not Dak Prescott. But Skip Bayless didn't want to hear me. Oh, I'm a hater. You just hate all things Cowboys. You're hating on Dak. But now you're getting to see what Shannon Sharp and many others have been telling you all along, Skip Bayless, what Ezekiel Elliott allows you to do. 
He allows he allows you to possess the football, which controls the clock, which keeps the porous of your units off the field for a significant amount of time. Side, cuts it upfield, and there's his best of the day. First down, Dallas. Like that last run they had. High snap. Option, Elliott. Touchdown. And the Cowboys are going to go for two. That time stood firm in the pocket and found his guy. Prescott got starts three for three. Hands it to Elliott to the outside. He goes in a ton of room. Collins chasing him down and hog ties him. The 44 yard line. Elliott. Elliott bursts through, gets into the second level inside the 30 and taken down from behind at the 25 yard line by Curtis Riley. It's the plug. Nothing better as an offensive team when you start to feel the other side lose. The Elliott up the middle, breaks through. Ezekiel Elliott, nice run. And he's got 10 and another. He's done that in this game. Here is Elliott going to run. Good hole. Elliott with a speed. Ezekiel Elliott out of bounds. Or a sack, however you want to rule it, but that's not the case. It's a penalty and it's a big one. And now they're going to set it up to Elliott. Tries to get to the edge. Just so. But Ezekiel Elliott. Scott looking the other way. Somebody's helmet's off. They get into Elliott in the flat. Makes a good strong cut. Bounces off defenders in this third quarter. And they will run it out of the jumbo formation. Elliott breaks through. Uh-oh. Ezekiel Elliott. Puts in the shoulder. And the line seven inside the 25. A 41-yard run for Ezekiel Elliott. Old soup on I. I wouldn't have gotten open on you, I can tell you that. <laughs> First to 10 for Dallas. And it's Elliott again. A big oh, Elliott. Four yards for a field goal try. Prescott. Going to let it fly. He's got Elliott. Watch the third one that got stuffed and lost yards. There's Elliott. Able to peel off a nice run out near the 50 behind Connor Williams. You defeat him the football. Is Dallas is snapping the football? I know you are. <laughs> Here's Elliott. Elliott into the secondary and rumbles down to the 10 yard line. With all these replays, here we go. Starting the four. Hand off to Elliott. And he is in for the touchdown. Here he is, Zeke. Getting fed right here. It's his time of the game to close it out, and you ain't making that tackle. Cowboys look sick. We could be at the end of an era that never was. Is it just Jerry Jones not having the guts to fire Jason Garrett? I know you guys try not to listen to the outside voices or the media, but here in Dallas, it's everywhere. At that time, people were saying, it's over. It doesn't look like there's hope in the future. We need to blow this thing up. The Cowboys need a tear down. Start new. What was it like when this team was three and five? Guard line. A little sleight of hand there, but he gets it away to Elliott. And Elliott with a great move and a 12-yard gain after the 46-yard one. Prescott's at seven different receivers. Elliott. Big hole. Hurdle. Outside the 20 loses his balance, but he gets inside the 10 for a first and goal. Went right. Nice job. Mr. Razul Douglas to close that Elliott gap, and he just couldn't get Elliott off to the races again inside the 30, and then Jenkins is able to dislodge the ball, but out of bounds. So Amari Cooper, one-on-one, -on -one, he has it. And Sullivan, the rookie, is on Cooper. Meanwhile, the pass is caught by Elliott for a touchdown. Is Zeke the best running back 
in football. Yep, and it's not even close. And here's Prescott to throw it here. We're going to set up a screen. Elliott's got room. Ezekiel Elliott, look out! Inside the 20. Fleming comes in, by the way. Well, Collins got hurt on that last play. Elliott doesn't care. He breaks three. Into the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, yes. <laughs> run with at 220 plus pounds. Here he is for a first down and more. Touchdown, Cowboys. In, in three and a half games, is just 24 yards. Hand off to Elliott. Good cutback. Into Washington. Route. And we see that weekly from Amari Cooper. Pretty good fake. Here is Elliott. The fake has everything to do with this. Second and 12 now. Trying to set up a screen, they do. Elliott, touchdown, Dallas. We're talking about Dak Prescott possibly getting $35 million. Wouldn't even be having this conversation if 21 wasn't in the backfield. It wouldn't, it wouldn't even be a conversation. We talked about this O-line and how great they've been. And yes, they are very good. They drafted that O-line. You know, the, one of the best centers in the NFL was out in Travis Frederick. Zeke still rushed for 1,400. Tyron Smith injured all season long. Zeke still rushed for 1,400. Every time that this guy has been in the game, the Dallas Cowboys have been three to four levels better of a football team. Now we're talking about, is he the best back? Yes, the numbers say he's the best back. Right now, Zeke is in his prime. Right now, Zeke means more to his football team at the running back position than any other running back in the NFL. Do you have more confidence in the Cowboys or the Seahawks to get the job done this weekend? I'm a Cowboys guy. So, like, I, I mean, I, I've been on the Cowboys bandwagon and the Jason Garrett bandwagon specifically since way before they started going this winning streak. I had text, text beef with Stephen A. many times because I thought he was wrong about Jason Garrett, and I continue to think that he's wrong about Jason Garrett. Uh, over the last several years, Jason Garrett, they had a, a rough start to the beginning of it, of uh, his tenure there, but the last few years, he's been really good. With When Tony Romo went down, they went 13-3. and Can you imagine any other coach being able to go 13-3 and when you lose your starting quarterback? They went 13-3 and and then lost in the playoffs because of the catch rule. And, uh, or excuse me, that was because of the Aaron Rodgers crazy yeah. pass on the sideline to Cook. Yeah. The year prior to that, or two years before that, was because they lost because of the catch rule with Des Bryant. So, like, he has been bad. He gets a lot of – he gets bashed a lot, I think in part because of the way he looks. He's kind of funny, easy to make fun of. <laughs> and because it's in um, Dallas where you get a lot of scrutiny. But they've done a good job. And you look at the job that they've done this year. They brought in Amari Cooper, and they, they have involved him in the offense quite effectively. They're 7-2 and two since they brought in Amari Cooper – with the exception of that one game where they didn't score any points. But other than that, they've been really good and really impressive. And I think we should, if we're going to bash Jason Garrett when they underachieve, we should credit him when they overachieve. And I think that they will beat the Seahawks. Just when you look back at this Cowboys team back in September, the 3-5 and five start, to turn things around the way they have, NFC East champions, 10-6, and six, hosting a playoff game. I'm not sure anybody could have seen this coming back in September and October when they were struggling the way they were. This team now is rolling going to the playoffs. Football arrives at AT&T Stadium. It's just another game. It's just another game. It's just another game. It's a damn line. At the Cowboy 34, they'll let Zeke do it. Bounces out right to the 40, to the 50, to the 30. Sideline 20 and out of bounds. Zeke says, feed me, feed me. The gun, Prescott. Snap is back, trying it again. Fade right side. Ball's caught. The Cowboys are moving on to the divisional round of the playoffs. Over the middle, Cooper. Amari Cooper inside the five. Touchdown, Dallas. With Elliott blocking. Here he is, cuts back and reaches for the touchdown. Gurley, a lot of room, inside the 20, he is gone, touchdown 
Rams. Prescott not able to get rid of it. Throws now, has Gallup. What a catch! Down near the two. On McVay. Elliott again, pounds it in. Touchdown, Dallas. Prescott keeps, throws. The attempt is good.